origin story. Oh, snap! I love origins! So juicy and filled with that vitamin C's? Not exactly, but this is indeed a juicy, pulpy tale. It begins many years ago, on a night like any other. At that time, I was a young circus acrobat, part of the famous... Hold up! Did you say circus? Oh, he is again telling the depressing tale of his childhood. It's not a depressing tale. It's my origin story. Uh-uh. We want to hear about fruit, bro. Come on! I didn't even get to the good part yet. There are no good parts. All of the parts are the sad. That's what makes origin stories so great! The heart-wrenching tragedy! If you want a tragic origin story, you should hear mine. Oh, yeah! Tells it, Mama! I love this one. No! I'm in the middle of telling my poignant origin story. All right, it starts way back when I was just a normal kid living with some old people. Oh no, I need to get to the science lab. I gotta go, old people raising me. Before you go, remember, if you ever get superpowers, you should probably use it to do some good instead of not doing some good. Quiet, old man. You don't know anything about my life. I don't know why they hired a teenage photographer to take pictures of all these secret lab experiments, but I sure am grateful for the work. Ah! 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 Oh, man. The dang raven just bit me. I hope it wasn't one of those radioactive ones. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get radiation poisoning and... Oh, wait. I'm feeling stronger. What? Awesome! I got superpowers from that radioactive bird bite. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Radioactive bird bite. Classic. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, and that old man passed away at the age of 95 from natural causes. <laughs> that too young. You see, I am not from here. I am from a far off world. The planet Tamaran. There, I was a princess next in line to become queen of the entire planet. But I was betrayed by my own sister. <gasps> she exiled me from my planet and I came to the Earth, where I fell in love with these sweet little balls of the fur. My name is Robin and I didn't have a regular childhood. I grew up on a farm with my grandpappy. It was hard work tending the cornfields, especially on account of the crows always stealing our crop. When the corn was gone, they went and flew off with cram crams. Dang, sounds like you're making all this up, yo. No, it's all true and very sad. <clears throat> Seemed like things couldn't get any worse until one day a meteor came down and destroyed the farm. But if I win this competition, I can rebuild the family farm. When I think of everything my old grandpappy has done for me, it brings a tear to my eye. Oh, you poor little farmer boy. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a truckload of wick, wick, whack, but it was pretty tragic, so I guess you deserve a second chance, bro. Wow. That story is not true, and it is not tragic! You want a real tragedy, bro? Cyborg, tell this fool your origin story, and don't leave nothing out. You got it, bro. It all started back in the day. I was born on this doomed alien planet that was about to blow up at any minute. To save me, my loving but questionable alien parents placed me in some old rickety capsule and shot me into outer space like shawow! I was just a helpless baby boy, zipping through space all by my lonesome. It was crazy. I don't know what they were thinking. Then boom! I crash landed on some random farm here on Earth. This nice old farm couple found me all naked and crying, so they decided to take me in and raise me as their own. Later, I discovered I had all types of cool powers, so I left that farm life and became a superhero instead, saving people falling off things like tall buildings, waterfalls, ladders, horses, and chairs. And that's how I ended up here on Earth all super light. Wow! Oh, and that nice old farm couple that raised me later fell on hard times with the climate change, agricultural subsidies, and the advent of industrial farming. They lost their farm and are now homeless. That is really tragic. Ah! Ah! That was even more ridiculous than the last one. Hey, 
Hello, me name's Robin. Tiny Robin. I was born in the year 1843. Me father's name is Bob Cratchit. We're very poor, and winning this competition would be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> That's from A Christmas Carol. It's based on my life! You were born in 1843. Obviously. Well, in that case, it's time for your third and final chance, Tiny Robin. Woohoo! Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to Tiny Robin. It all started back in 1776. The British Empire once ruled the American colonies. British soldiers could stay in anyone's house, anytime, and the taxes were super unfair. But worse than that, everyone was forced to drink tea all the time. Soda was not allowed. It was terrible. Finally, George Washington and the Founding Fathers had enough with the help of the mighty bald eagle and the Statue of Liberty. They declared independence and threw all the tea into the ocean. Without their tea, the British Army didn't stand a chance, and America could drink all the soda it wanted. Uh. Of course, ever since their humiliating defeat, <laughs> the English have been working to regain control of the United States, and that tea is their way in! Robin, it's just a hot water salad. It's treason! Treason, I say! And I'm going to put it where it belongs! Aww. Forget the tea! You're Americans! You need something with a little sugar in it. I suppose we will never enjoy the hot leaf water. Yeah, I guess you... Whoa! Look! Where did it come from? It is the sign. We are meant to drink of the tea. Uh, I don't know, guys. This is kind of suspicious. What if Robin was right? <laughs> oh, come on. When has we ever been warned about doing a thing, and then that thing ended up being bad and getting us in trouble? Come to think of it, I, I can't, can't think, think of, of it. a single yeah, time. Yeah, I got nothing. So let's drink this tea, yo. Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's really not a lot of flavor in this. Huh, it may taste like nothings, but it sure makes me feel like a dude to international situations. True, and the soggy leaf bag is quite the special treat. <laughs> Careful some more. Oh, why not? My dream was to be a football star. The coaches said I could have gone all the way, too. But then I was in a horrible accident. I was rebuilt as a cyborg. And then I changed my name to Cyborg. Didn't want to overthink it, you know. Point is, it wasn't long before I found a new passion. Singing! Singing is the only thing I've got in this world. If you don't count all my cool superpowers, all my cool superhero friends, and all the cool superhero things I do every day. I'm not counting it if you're not. In that case, I have had a hard life. But if I could be on the Justice League, Doggy. Robin is correct. There and the four, I shall recount the true tale of my origin, dark and tragic though it is. My kitties and I had just seen the wondrous moving picture. Oh, what a wondrous moving picture! I did not think the hotshot fighter pilots would ever be the friends, but I was the incorrect. Meow. Oh, you wish to take the shortcut home? Meow. Meow. Through the dark and the grimy alley? I vow to bring the mean puppies of this city to justice. Using my departed kitty's vast fortune, I built the crime-fighting cave and the very nice computer. <coughs> Thank you, Kitty Alfred. <coughs> the kitty alarm. <coughs> the joking dog, leave it to me. Wide web. This is where we'll have our awesome hacker battle with those evil computer pirates. We just need to find them. What's the holdup? Uh, seems to be a uh, slow internet connection. Did you try turning the modem off for 30 seconds and then turning it back on again? I can't. We're on the neighbor's Wi-Fi. Is that not the illegal? Not if they didn't set up a password. Any second now. 
Any second. Are pirates? Let's take them down, dude. <sighs> What's the point? This was supposed to be a cool hacker adventure, not a maritime brawl. Just let the FBI handle them. Robin, this is a cool hacker adventure. You just got to free your mind, fool. Free my mind. <sighs> I see it so clearly now. This is a hacker adventure. Download source buckling software. <laughs> Download pirate voices. Yar! I'd be knowing how to talk like a pirate now. Download pirate ship! It's time we throw these scallywags overboard! Titans, go! Ho, ho! Time to swab the deck, me hearty. Hackers off the stand, Captain! Protect the cargo at all costs, me lads! <laughs> 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 I'll be sending you to David Jones' locker! You'll never stop computer piracy! It'd be a victimless crime, after all! Tell that to the companies using millions of dollars in revenue! Yarr! And the artists who work day and night who won't see a penny off their hard work! Yarr! And the consumers forced to pay exorbitant amounts for office productivity software! Yarr! We did it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. You know what? You were right, dude. This was a cool hacker adventure. You really think so? Indeed. Thank you for showing us the way, Blaze. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Yo, them pirates got some good stuffs up in here. Check it. I guess it would be okay to browse around. Check out all this music! This is my jam! Uh. <laughs> Ooh, and one could process many of the words with this software. The pretty, pretty Pegasus Mini! Whoa, who are those cool dudes? It's the FBI. You computer pirates make me sick. Uh, oh no, we're not. You're under arrest for possession of stolen software. Run! <laughs> 